Entertainment technology took a big leap in 1987 with the increased popularity of compact discs and players. Much of the record-breaking $5 billion in sales that occurred in the music industry over the past 12 months is being credited to the CD boom. In fact, CD sales more than doubled in the past year. This in spite of the fact that only 9% of American homes have CD players. Such popularity is causing some people to say that CDs may actually bring an end to vinyl records. One of the most successful CD releases of the year came from Capitol Records. Over an eight-month period, the company released all 13 original studio albums by the Beatles on CD, 17 years after the band broke up. But the compact discs were just one of the events that made 1987 a big year for the Fab Four. The second Beatles film, Help, was released on home video in the spring. Director Richard Lester says the personality of the Beatles is what keeps the movie still alive 23 years after its premiere. There was a wonderful marriage of the four of them. Um, that, that's what I was trying to, to, to capture on film. And so we produced sequences where you could see that instinctive m meshing of four people becoming a whole. In October, Yellow Submarine, an animated movie featuring the Beatles, also came out on home video. But perhaps the biggest Beatle news story of 1987 was the 20th anniversary of the release of the album Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. It was just a, a stroke of genius, and, and uh, it's, it's, it's hard to pin down verbally why it exactly is, but if you actually look at the album and listen to the album, it's abundantly clear, I think, even to someone from Mars. You know, if they listen to the albums before that and then they listen to that one, they'd go, this is, this is very important. And it was and it still is. Ringo Starr and George Harrison even performed one of the LP's classic songs at this year's Prince's Trust concert. also saw the much discussed use of the Beatles song Revolution in a Nike ad and the release of Cloud Nine, George Harrison's first solo album in five years. <laughs>